SpaceX Dragon flying about 209 feet behind the International Space Station and just coming into a sunrise about 250 miles over the southern tip of South America. It's less than half an hour or less than an hour away from being picked up by the space station's robotic arm, which is the next step on that spacecraft's mission to deliver 5,600 pounds of research, hardware, and supplies to the orbiting laboratory later today. Seeing a live view here of the Dragon, uh, just uh, beyond the Space Station Solar Array, it's about uh, 34 meters away now, or 111 feet. It's working to get to a 30 meter point. Uh, that's the next milestone on its uh, on its journey today. And the Dragon and uh, International Space Station are about 250 miles above the Southern Ocean right now, just about to come up to the southern tip of South America and enter into sunrise. Sunrise is helpful since it's needed for that uh, capture to give the crew a good view of what they're what they're aiming for. Right now, uh, again, it's about uh, right about at the 30 meter hold point and uh, moving in at about 1.5 or sorry, 0.15 miles per hour. The team here down on the down on the ground is confirming. Space to ground two for Dragon. Go on two. All right, the Dragon is at the 30 meter hold. We are performing our assessments on the ground and we'll let you know shortly when you are go to proceed with step four in one decimal one zero two. We are standing by. All right, and you're actually, you're seeing some motion. This is the arm now going into what's known as that high hover position. So this will be one of the final positions that they have to move the cannon arm to, robotic arm to, uh, before it's ready and configured for the Dragon to begin its final approach. Right, and just there, NASA astronaut not Serena on, on Chancellor confirming uh, the Canada Arm 2 is in that high hover position. So you can see it's kind of swung around, and now it's looking straight on to that grapple fixture uh, on the uh, Dragon spacecraft. So with it now in the right position, uh, we should be getting the call momentarily for Dragon to begin its approach one more time uh, from that 30 meter hold point where it's been camping out, and then it's going to move into the capture point just 10 meters away. Station on two, crew ready for Dragon approach to capture point. Okay, copy that, Serena. Uh, so, in order to satisfy the lighting constraints for capture, we're looking to depart 30 at 10:42. All right, Dragon is ready to proceed to the capture point. Expect approach to resume shortly. You can see here on this view uh, that uh, shows you the screen that the astronauts see as they monitor the Dragon's approach that we are uh, beginning now to move out of that 30 meter um, hold area. moving at a rate of about uh, 0 0.04 miles per hour. And as you can see, SpaceX getting a lot bigger in the views of the space station's external cameras. This uh, one showing it now about 12 meters away, 39 feet. And you can also see there right in the center of the screen, the silver circle, which uh, has the, the prong on it that the space station robotic arm will use to grab onto the SpaceX Dragon and bring it in for, for its birthing later this morning. 
Okay, so we're going to get a couple things here. We're going to confirm the capture point hold for step six in 1.102. And with respect to that ground failure I told you about, we're still working it, and I'll get you a status here in the next couple minutes. Copy. We'll proceed with step six and then waiting to hear your words. Houston Station on two, capture conditions confirmed and crew ready for Dragon capture. For Dragon. Okay, Serena, given our Calm conditions now, we're going to ask you to command a retreat to 30 meters. Copy. Commanding retreat to 30 meters. So that call from Capcom Neil Magata uh, asking the crew to retreat to the 30 meter hold point again. Uh, due to the failure on the ground here, we will be losing our next compass and we will be back with you at around 11.50. All right, Alex, we took a look at the data. We're comfortable. Dragon's ready to proceed to the capture point, so expect approach to resume shortly. Okay, Serena, Dragon has begun the approach from 30 meters. Monitor for step five and 1.102. Copy step five. SpaceX Dragon there getting larger in the screen, which is a good sign. Now about uh, 16 meters away from the space station, or 52 feet. Again, it's got about six more meters to go before it arrives at the capture point, which is 10 meters away from the space station. Less than two meters to go for the SpaceX Dragon as it makes its way to the capture point, 10 meters away from the International Space Station. Right now it's about uh, 39 feet and it's aiming to get to 32 feet. Okay, confirm capture point hold for step six in 1.102. Copy, step six and work. Houston station on two, capture conditions confirmed and crew ready for dragon capture. This view, looking uh, down from the cameras on the robotic arm itself as it is now moving in to begin uh, heading towards SpaceX for the capture. You can see just a little bit of a hint of motion uh, in this view. Uh, you could also see there under the P of SpaceX, uh, what we call a, a, or what SpaceX calls a tattoo, a, a little uh, insignia of the International Space Station that signifies that uh, this SpaceX has been to the space station before. It was previously there in 2017 during the CRS-10 mission. And that's a close-up uh, view of what it looks like. Good view here of the space station's robotic arm moving in for the capture. Just three meters away now. Just one meter left. Team here on the ground reporting that the uh, robotic arm is now over the, the grapple pin, basically the handhold for the robotic arm. Still have to wait for the crew to uh, close the snares that actually capture it.
And we have uh, the c Dragon captured by the International Space Station robotic arm driven by Alexander Gerst and Serena Anand Chancellor. That took place at uh, 6.21 a.m. Central Time as the crew and uh, on the, board the International Space Station and the SpaceX Dragon uh, were flying about 249 miles above uh, the Pacific Ocean north of Papua New Guinea. Once again, that took place at 6.21 a.m. Central Time. International Space Station now with a good firm hold on the SpaceX Dragon as the Dragon and Space Station were flying 249 miles above the Pacific Ocean north of Papua New Guinea.